I, I, I don't know how to call it. Well, maybe you can give us some words. I, I just want to ask Gail while, while she is speaking, um, for the um, employees who have dared to be great and come out and participate with us, have you all had any type of threatening actions Absolutely come towards you? Absolutely not. Uh, even, you know, as one of the doctors did say, um, we don't have, we don't have um, a job right now. Mm -hmm. And um, there should be no fear in terms of fighting. I, I have never felt that fear since this all started. And I look at some of the employees, I talk to some of them, my coworkers, and I don't understand a lot of their attitudes towards what's going on. Some of them seem to be pretty quiet about it. I know inside they're pretty, they're hurting, and they have they've accepted they've, yeah, it. Yeah, they've accepted it, and they have. Mm -hmm. They feel like they have to move on now. But for me, I just feel like it, it almost just began. I really want to fight this. I really do believe that we, if we come up with the right alternative, we can win this. And we just need to, to think of God and what Jesus would do. That's right. That's right. And that's, that's the right. only thing that I've thought about yes. since this start. This this whole thing started. My power has come from above. I know it has. Your so, God man has been energized. Absolutely. Yeah. So I um I intend to stick with it, and um, I try to um, talk to the employees and um, as many as I can and try to encourage them. You know, we do need to fight as much as possible. You know, in a situation like this here, when you're going to lose your job, and you, you you have skill, you have education, so you know eventually you'll get another job in nursing, doctor, whatever. Mm -hmm. But we have so many orderlies that might not be replaced. You yes, know, so many right. people that's, that's mm -hmm. in the brick of the hospital that mm -hmm. will not be replaced mm -hmm. because if you go to other places, they always have people in place already in line for them, mm -hmm. so they don't need to bring in more of those, those folks. When you're against the wall, there's only one thing to do, and that is to fight. Now, if you lose the battle, you go out fighting. You because just don't lay down. At you just don't lay down. At least we go out fighting. You, you, you just don't lay down. Not. Dr. King, you know, when people would talk about him, you know, they say, Doc, why don't you move on? But Doc would be in jail every other night. A lot of times the news people didn't know it. A lot of times Dr. King would go to the hospital, you know, with a little sickness just to rest. Right. Just to rest for a day or two, you know, <laughs> in the hospital overnight or whatever. Dr. King in it before. Dr. King in the hospital, he was just resting. And the next day, he is in the jail somewhere fighting for the rights of the people. And I'll say this right here to America. We got to come out of hiding. Yeah, we have to fight. This whole, the game is so right. different That's now. Right. I mean, right. the, we, stakes right. the stakes are higher. The stakes because are higher. you know what? Your car costs more now. Your car cost $50,000. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember your car was, what, $2,500? $7,000 was a, a, an expensive Impala? Huh? Mm -hmm. Now you spending what, a house where I paid for my first house. You spending more than I paid for my first house. But I for think, a car. I, I think we need to look at the stakes of this hospital, and the stakes of this hospital, the cost of it, right. is your life and my life. Let me say this here. You see how all this is interlocked. We are fighting for the hospital. They are fighting for our kids. Mm -hmm. What is the difference? Right. The Browns are here, right. are fighting for the kids. Let's put right. the drill teams together. Let's put the let's put the parade together and everything throughout Union County. We need entertainment. We need good collective entertainment. Right. Uh, 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 a mind without entertainment is going to waste, mm -hmm. without a doubt. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that we need education. They're offering this right here. Mm -hmm. Why haven't people reached out to these folks? Mm -hmm. Why haven't every county, every city in this county here and every town reached out to these folks? They're ready to work. They're ready to work. And they say that $20 and sometimes 80%, 90% of them haven't even paid the $20 a month. And they're still going on by the speed of God and the strength of God. That's right. Why ain't they got the $20? If we can pay $20 to go to a movie, why can't we give them $20? Come on, we got to come on by the hiding. We got about three more minutes. I want the Browns to tie this up. Go ahead, say something. Well, as I, as I stated, our young people are, are, we've got some very positive young people, and we just want to encourage, encourage our young people. Um, I just want to let you know that on last evening, we were over in New York at Sylvia's, the soul okay. food restaurant, mm -hmm. and our drill team had an opportunity to perform for an audience of lawyers and, and uh, judges. judges. Okay. And they were so outstanding. We went next door to Sylvia's restaurant to, to buy some food on our way back in. 
and they were fascinated with the uniforms of our children. And they were so fascinated till, till the workers wanted to see exactly what these kids were doing next door at the hall. <laughs> so they decided to do a little step. I want you to know the owner, Sylvia herself, mm -hmm. the great lady came out, and she's a God-fearing woman, y'all. But she was outstanding. She came out and she praised our children so much and bought us all food. And mm -hmm. they, you don't understand mm -hmm. how such a small deed meant so much to yes. so many young people. You know, feeding our children. That was a good thing. But I want you to know that our children had an opportunity to show out over and over again. And once again, we want to encourage our young people and our parents out there. Don't give up on our children. We can't give up on our children. Our theme for our parade is we as a nation must save our children. Don't break the chain. And just to piggyback off of that, on far as our academic end, I have to keep going back to that because our kids must yes, be educated. Yes. Yes. And we are, you know, right now we have our kids reading a book called Raw Law, and it was written by Muhammad Bashir. He's in Virginia now, but he went to school in Elizabeth, and I went to school with him. And our kids are doing a report on that. And it breaks down the law to where you do not, he's teach, it's teaching our kids that you do not want to get caught up in the system. You have to know your rights. You have to know what to do when you get stopped. You know, there are certain procedures, and they will try to get you to incriminate yourself. And you have to be smarter than that. And we're teaching our kids that. And he's talking in the language of the street so that they can understand that. And that's why it's important for the education of our people. You know, it's very, very, and it's a parade, it's entertainment, you're absolutely right. But the biggest thing is fellowship. Mm -hmm. Fellowship and, and education and entertainment. We, we want to bring it all, all together in the spiritual side. We want to bring it all and make it one good old pie so we all can have some. That's right. I don't think I can say any more than that right there. <laughs> May God be with you. This is the Reverend Zachariah Town Talker. Keep hope alive. Yeah. You've been listening to the Town Talker with Reverend Zachariah A. Jackson, founding pastor of the Church of What's Happening Now in Plainfield, New Jersey. If you'd like to contact Reverend Jackson, call 908-361-2751. That's 908-361-2761. Or by email.